Fuck you looking at? Nothing to see here. Move along. What's going on here? This is your first day in Night City? What's it fucking look like? Get out of here, pissant! Leave him alone. See this badge? That means I can do whatever the fuck I want. And not this job! Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> uh, uh. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. <coughs> well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, uh, thank you. Were you sent by the company? Wrong answer. Then, hold on. What do you want from me? The truth. What do they want from you? I have no idea. They said something about some slut and a virtue. But when I asked what I had to do with it, they started beating on me so hard, I thought I'd die. Ah, uh, this city's really going down the drain. For the police to do this in plain sight for no reason. Go on. Get out of here. But... I don't understand. Just like that. For nothing in return. Nothing. I... I don't... I don't believe you. You saved me just like that because you... felt like it? Don't measure others by your own yardstick, prick. Martha Fricks and Gustavo Orta. Pista del Rey's own Romeo and Juliet. You know that story. This one's not so different. Martha is in a coma in the hospital. Her father wants Gustavo to pay. And to be, the man quit payment. Details attached. Gotta see Gustavo. Who? Think you got the wrong address. Running a fucking charity, mano. Let's panic more cut. Achilles tendon is the big one above the hill. Maybe that'll teach that idiota. If it doesn't, then he won't be running away that easy. Para mi 
conexión, culero. Scandium rods. My client needs them. Oh, yeah? What about me? I don't need them. This whole goddamn building's going to shit. All of it. Pipes, power. Every other day, the elevator jams. That motherfucking elevator. How the fuck am I supposed to fix it if I ain't got no rods, eh? Your client even consider that? The fuck you say to you? This elevator, is it wired or pumped? What? Well, 
Motor selection with a speed reducer. Sounds like a non-conductive hitch. Insulation in the cables must have worn out and short circuit. Open and shut case. The fuck? You from maintenance or something? Nope. Third party sent me. He really wants those rods, Kyle. And here's the thing. You'll manage without him. Over there, take him. And then fuck off! It's about to explode. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes, the filth of the world suffocates you. Sure isn't no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? Give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. Well, in that case, I'll just take it for free. You can't be doing this just for the eddies. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. This is a meditation of the Earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. Oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, Strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth, through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity our heart and soul. We walk the earth, 
A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, uh, hello? Nice vanishing trick. V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. So why are these docks called Ebonica? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. Meaning you found Grayson? He really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. UV? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. <laughs> of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. How much? Twice that! Oh. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, 
Don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Stop right there. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. It's the full on city hall. Let's make PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race? Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. It looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Right there. Slow your own team. Wait, for security. Dream. Do it after. Through the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Mayor's chief of security. Kareem, do it after the conference. Kareem, do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. 
Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. Well, well, well. Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD. No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. What a great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. The NCPD advises I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the Scop at Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me. You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Someone here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about him. You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? Mr. My partner, Detective Hunt. Okay, thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. 
Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. What about your partners? Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be hey, over her. You there? Yes, I'm talking to you. Okay. You Talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to you. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Liz Perales hired you. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Mom was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. right now. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive in the dead of space. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could you see her first. It. Up to you. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. Ninety percent of any detective's job is talking. And the other ten percent, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? 
Cybercycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Christine Hola. Markov. No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. Christine Markov. Okay, you gotta go, you gotta go. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. And then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole marker with the chrome he was packing. Oh, yeah, made scabs on scabs here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Pater showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Halo, weird doesn't mean what it means to everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath, gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, of corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, and ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Warbath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. The closest thing to a glacier in the past. So as Warbath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was the son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Orvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Fuck off, Kitty Claus. V. Fuck off. God damn it, me. Told you I'd handle it.
Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? Proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. Looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Leave me the fuck alone. Off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know! This isn't funny! So fucking remember. And make it quick. All right! Jesus! Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure. Thanks.
Come on, V. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. Fuck off! Nothing to see here. I'm looking for a club. Red Queen's Race. Closed. Not opening anytime soon either. So it's fine if I have a look around inside. No, it ain't. No looking. Just delta the fuck out of here!
Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Not here! Not now! <laughs> Action back there. No problem. You feeling okay? <sighs> I'll live. What was that, V? You asked me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No, 
No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. With this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Bull fucking shit, Han. Fraternity of cops resembles a clan, not at all. Loyalty. A blood bond. Serving an ideal greater than the individual. Need I go on? V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't we'll let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Got a BD that somebody spiked. Just gotta figure out who. And that, I think I could do. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. D. 
do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give him something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. shouldn't delay too long. Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes, and that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Glad I could help. Did you manage? Will we be in City Hall? 